It is a first for San Antonio, a huge $70 million investment in eSports. You might have heard us talk about the new Tech Port Center and Arena at Port San Antonio. It opened its doors this month and already hosting a sold out concert. And also its first eSports tournament. Other kinds of events will be held at the arena, but eSports, that is the main goal. So why? What is it about eSports that is growing and why is it something to watch? We take you inside the first ever eSports tournament at Port SA and this week's case that explains. Houston taking on Dallas. These teams faded to fight each other again and again. On May 6th, there were a lot of firsts at the new Tech Port Center and Arena. This event is a really big deal. Um, it's the opening uh, event, if you will, for the Overwatch League season number five. And we have the Dallas Fuel playing the one, the only Houston Outlaws. The event was called Battle for Texas. It was the first eSports tournament held here and the first time a tournament for Overwatch League Season 5 was held in person in North America since the pandemic canceled everything. Two teams from the Overwatch League, the Dallas Fuel and the Houston Outlaws battled it out to be tops in Texas in this game. And that's what eSports is all about competitive gaming. The Techport Arena, uh, the ownership group had reached out to us before they even started building here and suggested to us that they were going to be creating a multi-purpose arena that they wanted to host major esports events in and they convinced us to help them open this arena. A big reason? The arena of esports itself is growing from huge prize money for competitive players to esports scholarships for students. Even industries are looking to the world of esports to recruit top talent in tech fields. If you look at our aerospace customers, robotics, cybersecurity, even the military missions, they are all looking at esports and gaming as a new area to find, recruit, retain talent, a way to optimize their operations and virtualize their training. You can probably tell by now, but esports is more than a few friends sitting on a couch gaming together. It is organized competition. All kinds of games are included. Sports games like FIFA or NBA 2K, first person shooter games like Call of Duty, or fighting games like Super Smash Brothers, Tekken, or Mortal Kombat. As for Overwatch, the game that was played here? Overwatch is a team-based hero sh shooter. Uh, and basically, you have a team of five going against another team of five, and they're trying to accomplish certain objectives. This game has a dedicated fan base that's been uh, following the game and the players every step of the way since before the game was even out for the public. A lot of esports games are played in teams and there are different leagues. Those leagues run for a predetermined amount of time, like a season, just like the NFL or NBA. Teams or players are also ranked based on performance. They compete throughout the season. Eventually, the top teams or players make it to the playoffs. Then the top two compete in the finals and the winnings can be huge. In 2021, the prize pool for a year-long season of one of the most popular esports games, Dota 2, was $40 million. The top team took home $18 million, split among its five players. There's a whole industry around esports that's really being fostered and cultivated. Um, so, you know, it's more than just gaming, but it's like the broadcasters behind it, the marketing behind it, the graphic design behind it. Uh, so it's really a whole industry. And in Texas, gaming accounts for 25,000 jobs with an annual economic impact estimated to be $4.1 billion. When it comes to esports, the Techport Arena is unique. It's not the first esports arena in Texas, but it is the first to be built specifically for this. And it's expected to be a major competitor to the already established esports venues around the state. Typically, like our traditional esports arenas, um, the Dallas Esports Arena being a converted convention space, the HyperX Arena being previously a restaurant, um, there really hasn't been anything built from the ground up quite like what we have here. This is probably the most sophisticated arena that I have seen built specifically for esports. The fact that this arena has like tons of concessions, multiple levels for people to sit and watch the game. I feel like you can really immerse yourself and still be a part of the event no matter where you are in this venue. A venue that was at near capacity for its first ever esports tournament. So will this $70 million investment be worth it? Probably too soon to know. 
But it's safe to say San Antonio has joined other Texas cities in trying to up its game. In different cities like San Antonio, like Houston, like Austin, and other cities around the country are thinking about esports. You know, being able to have facilities that allow kids to come and practice the right kinds of internet, the right kinds of equipment that is needed, the right kinds of coaches that are needed. And then in addition to that, you know, really celebrating esports and not saying, hey, my kids shouldn't be playing, you know, video games. Games, that's silly. It's like, no, no, no. This is a sport and an industry that is growing like mad. Now to check out any episode of KSAT Explains on demand, just scan this QR code. The idea behind Explains is to take one topic like esports, look at it from several different angles, giving you more depth and perspective. Look for a new episode of KSAT Explains next Monday right here on the News at 6.